Not one, not two, but three drivers saw the inside of Victory Lane for the first time in their NASCAR careers this past weekend. I'm Costner Merrifield here in the Phantom Media Engagement Center, and this is Rearview Mirror. The NASCAR Camping World Truck Series kicked the weekend off right with a wild finish at Michigan. On the last lap, William Byron and Timothy Peters were battling for the lead when out of nowhere, Brett Moffitt passed both of them on the outside and hung on to earn his first career Truck Series win. And now, the word of the week. We talk about on the bubble that doesn't need win. That bubble. Not much time left for the bubble driver, drivers if they want to get into the playoffs. Leading the bubble boys, Austin Dillon. Three. Race for that bubble line even tighter. Everyone saw it coming. Another NASCAR Sprint Cup Series driver dominating in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Cup regular Michael McDowell held off Brendan Gaughan and went on to earn yet another win. Oh wait, turns out that's actually his first ever NASCAR Xfinity Series win. Well, that's two for two on first time winners. Would we see a hat trick on Sunday? Let me save you the suspense. We did see a hat trick this weekend. Thanks to this guy right here, Kyle Larson. Kyle, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So a lot of people, including Kyle Busch, thought that Darlington would be the track for you to get a win before the chase. You, on the other hand, thought a little differently. <laughs> Let's take a look. Where's my best chance to win these next three, Kyle? He wants to know where his best chance to win these next three is, Kyle. Darlington, because he likes to run the wall. Ah, that's a good point. But you also like this place, too, don't you? Yeah, I would say uh, I would say here is probably my best shot. I actually ran the bottom a lot last year at Darlington. Did you ever think that you would be able to call your own shot for your first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series win? <laughs> well, I don't think I like actually called my shot. I didn't say I'm going to win today, but I... I Definitely thought Michigan was my best shot out of the next three to win. Maybe he called his shot for me to win next week, too. Maybe we'll go back to back again. You basically burned it down all the way from victory lane to the front stretch. You threw out your steering wheel along the way. What is going through your mind as you're doing this? <laughs> I don't know. Just uh, I don't know. You're not really thinking. I was just so excited, and I've been close uh, a lot of times. and. So I think that was just a lot of bent up uh, excitement there. And in Victory Lane, you said you parked it for your friend Brian Clawson. Now that you've had time to kind of look back on the win, how special is it for you to get this win for him and his family? Well, yeah, it's super special. Yeah, I know it meant a lot to them. Just glad to you know, be a, a small part of, of helping them smile. Thanks so much, Kyle. And thank you guys for watching another edition of Rear View Mirror. Make sure to tune in next week as we flash back to the 1970s at Darlington Raceway.